what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you're new to this channel, or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they're live, and there's a link in the info box below the video once it's rendered. But most importantly, if you would like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below the video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. If you do join, please do not swear. If you do, you'll be ejected, and if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. Please also share the show. Sharing the show increases the live audience, of course, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. And one last time, if you are new to the channel or you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Now we are joined by Sleeping Warrior and Ranty Flat Earth. How are you doing? All is doing good. Well. Doing good, doing good. I hit 6,000 subscribers today. Woohoo! I saw it. I saw it. Well done. Congrats. Only took six um, months to gain the last thousand, which is fast for anybody else. They'd say, well, that, that seems like forever. Well, no, that's actually brilliant for me. So I'm chuffed regardless of where anyone wants to spin it. Thousand subscribers in six months. I'll take that every day of the week. That's brilliant. So all who have subscribed in the last six months, all 1,000 of you, thank you very much for hitting the subscribe button. Really, really appreciate it. Made up. Made my day when I saw it this morning. Yeah. If there's any trolls in, you can always unfollow him. <laughs> Get him down to under six again. So, uh, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to piss on my bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, yesterday, um, do you know what? It was weird because, yes, we've come back from the caravan. Um, obviously, Nathan and I were up there over the weekend. Nathan come back on Monday or Sunday. And I come back last night. And whilst I was on my way home in the car, um, Sean had a hangout. And let's just say that mistakes have been made. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll wait until we get 100 in the hangout, and then I'll address it, because I want more people to see this. Because basically, these dump, these dimwits don't know what they're doing. And it's obvious. And they're claiming things that are back to front as true. And it's like, no, this is not right. This is nonsense. So he's mis Sean's misled his old viewing public. I don't know how many people he had viewing last night, but let's just say there was 100. Um, he's misled everybody that was watching his program last night, and he's misled them all into thinking that somehow we're all wrong, and he's baffled them with science, and it's wrong. He's misled them with mistake, and, you know, to be honest, I'll, I'll give him the credit, of the, the benefit of the doubt. Perhaps it was innocent, because, like I said yesterday, most people are going to struggle with this. Because it isn't the science. This is this is real world. This is logic and reason. And I hate saying that, but it actually is logical and reasonable that this is this is what we're doing. Um, and I get that a lot of people won't get it. And that's the reason why Wiggles couldn't get his head around yesterday. He struggled. He put his maths on screen, and once he realized that he was stuffed, he quickly took it down and wouldn't put it back on again. And then legged it because he realized it was stuffed. Well, Sean's done the same thing. He's made a mistake and he's going to have to address it because he's not going to be able to get away with pretending that it's not a mistake. He's going to have to concede that there was a mistake made and that we're going to address it shortly. Do you mind so if I summarise what the current situation is in this regard, though, just so it's right at the beginning of the show? Well, I don't want to steal your thunder, but by the same token, I kind of do because I just want to... I don't mind if it's said 20 times. It makes no odds. So I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. Tough luck. So in essence, <laughs> we have a situation where perspective is not being taken into account and when we are presented with the mathematics in terms of the visual depiction of how the mathematics are worked you are shown a side elevation of whatever it is you are viewing now when you take what is known as an orthographic view a side on elevation view to the targets and your viewing position you are equidistant from each of those things you as the target uh, as the viewer and the target are at equal distances when you look at them inside profile or orthographic view the problem being that that does not account for perspective so there is an alternative view the actual view that matches what we are doing which is taking a picture with a camera and that would be the perspective view 
Now, the perspective view, as the name suggests, takes into account the fact that things at distance get smaller. Now, when you look inside profile, you can account for a thousand foot mountain being a thousand foot, when in reality, or when, in put, when put into perspective view, you find that that isn't at all the reality of our world. Things at distance get smaller. Therefore, the perspective view matches the reality of angular size change with distance, which is something that is not accounted for by the globular mathematics. Now, I'm going to put this disclaimer in straight away, which is to say we are five steps on after a begging the question fallacy to begin with, and that is that any of these mathematics are based on the radius value of Earth, which there is no scientific evidence for. So we're already well into begging the question, or if you want to look at it in a more positive light from a globe head point of view, we are humouring you letting you beg the question and at any point we can chop your head off by pointing out that you beg the question with these mathematics however there is still a massive flaw after you beg the question which is to say that you have this problem of perspective not being accounted for in the mathematics and they do it or hide it depending on which way you want to look at it by putting everything into an orthographic view which isn't yeah. how we view the world so to say it is a viewing function would be to say that we're we're doing our maths in orthographic view. Well, we are viewing things and we do put in viewer heights and we do have perspective when we take a photograph. We are doing a viewing function when we push that click button. So ultimately speaking, or unequivocally speaking, we must include the perspective calculation, which is to say that we have to take into account the angular size of anything that we observe and then apply the curve calculations if you want to beg the question and believe that you live on a spinning ball correct now what i'll do now if, if it's all right nath i'll um i'll screw it i'll i will put my teeth back in i will screen share um and full page hide that so i'll summarize what where we're at currently are we good yep you're presenting Right, so um, this video is from Taboo Conspiracy, and it's, it basically it was so convenient for me to do to cite from this because um, he's done all the maths, he's done all the all the trig, he's done all the the nitty gritty mathematics that these these guys have push on us all the time, and he's already done it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna claim, hang on to his uh, coattails here because why would I try and do this myself when he's already done it and he only did it two months ago, but he's only had a handful of views on it, so it's still quite a new video. So make sure you go to Taboo Conspiracy's video and watch it from uh, How Angular Size Debunks the Globe, Flat Earth Wins. Give him a good thumbs up because this is basically making my point for me and do he's done all of the work. And the conclusion that he came to in his video was that if you just apply the curve um, adjustments, the you know, the curve calcs, um, it matches flat as well as it matches sphere. Right. On, wait a minute. I I did a presentation like this about three months ago on Masons. Correct. I did with the winter. Window. Window. You did. Yes, and we all did. we all have our own little journey, and we all get to different points at different times. Yeah. And sometimes people see a really small point, and it drops off. And other times people see a small point, but it make it into a big. And I'm making a small point into a big, because I realise this is where the fraud is. This is where the fakeness is, and this is where it's wrong. Um, and what Taboo has pointed out is that the mountain, when you apply the curve calcs, matches the perspective maths for a flat plane. So they both appear to be the same. Now, obviously, we, if we live on a ball, they can't be the same. One of them must be wrong. But when you do the curve, uh, the curve calcs on um, a ball, but consider and account for the angular size, it changes things completely. Now, if we live on a plane, literally, the only thing that we see when we look out to the horizon... Uh, let's go with that one, for instance. We, oh, everything shrinks as it goes out to the horizon. Everything. Now, all of these fence posts, just for say, argument's sake, let's just say that they're three foot tall. Exactly. Let's say they're all three foot tall. That one appears to be smaller than the one in the foreground. The one behind it appears to be smaller. The one behind it appears to be smaller, and so on. It gets smaller and smaller as it gets further and further away. Everybody accepts that that's what we see. Okay? But if we live on a ball... You've got to drop that small post in the background behind the curve, whatever the curve should be. So you do have to take into account perspective. Now, shout out to Dr. Zach. In Dr. Zach's most recent video against Red's Rhetoric and Flat Earth Maths, if you go to um, this part 20 minutes and 54 seconds in, 
you see this big guy talking about photography. But he, uh, um, Dr. Zach says that, do you guys even know what perspective is? Because you have to take into account perspective when you're doing angular size maths. He's right. This is He's saying the same thing that I'm saying, and I'm saying the same thing that um, Taboo Conspiracy is saying. Perspective is a thing. So when we're doing these observations, we have to know what the how to reduce the thing that we're looking at. Now, for instance, let's just say this mountain in the Mount Blanc, let's just say that the mountain was 2,000 feet, same as Snaefell. When we do all the curve calcs, we were putting in the height of Snaefell at 30 miles away at 2,000 feet, but it isn't. It's the only time it's at 2,000 feet is when it's right in front of your nose at zero miles. So it, it gives us two positions. We either need to know what the angular size reduction, or if you're going to use its full height, then the, the distance that you're observing that must be zero because the only time your, your, your mountain is at full height is when it's right in front of you. Otherwise, it ain't. So... Sean's hangout last night. So that's Dr. Zach dealt with. Minimize that one. So in Sean's hangout last night, 30 minutes and 50 seconds in, Geo Streber has got the on screen. He's got his explanation using um, GeoGebra. Geo, 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 um, and what he's showing is that the observer's on the right and he stood on top of a mountain. And obviously he's presupposing the ball, but like Nathan said, we're going to allow you to do that for the purposes of this illustration because it shows that you guys are getting this wrong. Look how he represents these mountains, right? He's got these to scale on, on GeoGebra, which is fine. You know, fair play, it's accurate. But the only time these mountains appear at this size is when we're looking at it from the side on profile. Because as Nathan correctly points out, it allows you to see all of them from the same distance away and you can see them all at the same height at their actual height. But that's the only time that happens. If in real world, if you were to do a side profile of what this was going what this was doing, you would have to reduce the size of this mountain because of this distance between the observer, you and this distance here, and that would have to have an angular size reduction based on that distance, and that would have to be shown in to scale at the height it should be at the distance it's at whatever that distance was. But it gets worse because when when this line of sight, this tangent line of sight which in this instance was done on a straight line, um, which didn't account for the 7-6-R that you guys always apply. Have you ever seen a baller not apply 7-6-R? So he's put a dead straight line in here, which is wrong anyway, so he's misrepresenting the Metabunk curve calculator because that's not how the line of sight is on the Metabunk. But in any event, this Mount Blanc in the background is still shrinking from this point on, and it's getting further and further away. So this one's shrinking more than what this one is because this one's stopped. So what, why this matters is because the only time <clears throat> that we don't see the world inside profile and then mountains at the, the full height, we see them in first-person perspective mode. So what, what um, is going wrong here is there's no angular size reduction for this first mountain. There's no angular size reduction for the second mountain. We do not see our world orthographic. We see our world perspectively. So when we're looking at uh, this picture here, the mountain, this first mountain here, and then the, the second mountain is essentially one of these. It's like looking at these, but this is perspective. And I'll be clear what I mean when I say perspective. It's like perspective is used like the word gravity in that it seems to be a catch-all phrase for everything. It just means that as an object gets further away from you, it shrinks. The apparent size reduces, and that's what perspective is. It's subject to the inverse square law. So that's essentially um, what perspective really is. As things get further away from you, they shrink. But in in, in um, GeoStreber's um, observation, he hasn't shrunk the size of these mountains. And because he hasn't done that, he's left it in orth orthographic view, and it's a side profile. And obviously, we do not see our world that way. We see our world from behind. So without reducing these mountains, he's leaving it in orthographic mode. And that's why this is where the deception is. That's why this, this uh, Metabunk curve calculator it's always seems to match because nobody ever reduces the size because they always put the height of the mountain in. It should be the height of the mountain at 30 miles away, 60 miles away, 90 miles away, and it should be massively reduced. Now, the problem with not doing that, it, it directly affects the, the hidden value because that mountain suddenly starts shrinking significantly down and it'll be a couple of dots on the horizon. It's really, really small, but... When if we apply the curve calcs to a mountain that's 2,000 feet instead of say 600 feet, is which is what it, the actual apparent size would be in perspective, then that hidden value is relative to the new size is massive. 
and it'll never ever work out in the ball favor ever so the question is is metabunk misleading us yeah because he's not telling us that the object in di at distance is subject to the inverse square law and it needs to be reduced on that basis right he's not telling us that he should tell us that but he's that's basically a lie by omission now that then puts the shift onto well is it the baller's fault or is it our fault now there's two views it would be our fault for failing to recognize our own maths right i get that but it would also be the baller's fault because they would know or you would expect them to know that we would need to reduce this so if the likes of dawn treader he'll be the first one to say look i'm not strong at maths and that's fine but the likes of the rumpus who claims that he's fantastic at maths and he's always 100 percent right well if you are 100 percent right you should not be putting the full height of mount blanc in whatever the height is you should be reducing it due to the laws of perspective and applying the inverse square law and then applying the hidden value hey well, rumpus uh not rumpus rufus Ruhif. Uh -oh. i'll get there in the end but no one does that so by and not putting the height of the truth, mountain in, it do. changes things massively and it goes against them hugely so I'm sure Ruhif's going to tell me how I've got all this wrong and how I'm a moron. And I challenge you, <laughs> show much. me where this is wrong, Ruhif. You I'm tell trying, me to, where... trying to share my screen. Hold on. Hang on. One day. Well, make sure you're right, because if you're wrong and you start preaching out nonsense that's wrong, it's going to cause an issue. Yeah, give me a sec to share my screen. The window's not coming up in the share screen thing. Give me a minute. So, uh... Yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. So that was the conclusion. The conclusion is that Geo uh, Streber did not reduce oh, the right. observation point, and therefore it it perfectly matched. And it's like, yeah, but that's not the way we see the world. We don't see it side on, and we don't see things at full height that over that distance. We see them subject to the inverse square law perspective. So let's, uh, Ruhif, we've got your orthographic view up on screen. Correct. Do you want to talk us through it? Correct. This shows you why or how perspective actually works. So these are your lamp. No, it doesn't. That... Sorry, got to stop you immediately. This is an orthographic view and not a perspective view, Ruhif. Correct. Right, so it does not show how perspective works in any way, shape or form. It is an orthographic view yes, and does. not a perspective view. So without literally having 13 seconds on the show, you've lied. This isn't a yeah. perspective would view. You, would you like the answer to this question, Nathan? Yes or You've no? just asserted this is how perspective works. This is not yeah, uh, a perspective so would you like, view. Would you like the answer? No, no I'm telling the audience look, what a disingenuous an liar you are. This, for the audience's benefit, is absolutely, unequivocally, not how perspective works. This is an orthographic view, the very problem we are highlighting. And I'm showing you how perspective can be drawn from a orthographic Yeah, we know how it can be drawn, and it's totally fallacious. We have f perspective views to show how it actually is represented in the real world. We know how the deception works. We're the one pointing it out. No, come Would on. you like an answer this, to the question? This is a model, and it it is not in perspective. It just no. And I'm about to show you how the perspective comes on. into it. Right. How Would are you, you going like to show us on an orthographic view how perspective works? That's absolute right. nonsense. Would you like to know the answer, Nathan? Yes or no? I want to know the answer. Let him speak. Nathan. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Okay. These are your lamp posts at 10 meters, 20 meters, and 30 meters. All of them are four meters tall. Uh, this person on the left is two meters tall, uh, which makes the maths easier. This yellow line, these yellow lines create a bigger angle. Correct. This is what you see in a perspective view. No. This is why they look bigger. Yes. This is not perspective, this is, this is orthographic. No, this is what you see when you switch to a perspective view. No, it is not. Absolute lies. Anthony, please can you bring up the picture of a perspective view with the overlay, with the lattice going in, to show that things in the distance do not remain the same size? Correct. This is Right, what, what do you mean correct? We're the ones asserting that when you show these lampposts, at equidistant from this position, my position, looking at it side on, they appear the same size, which is how you calculate them, as though they were the same size, whereas in a perspective view, they reduce with distance. Yes, this is what this image is showing. No, no it's, it's not! Stop! Right, you're going to really piss me off. That is absolutely not what this... This is not showing a perspective view. It's an orthographic view, right? It shows the problem. 
all of these posts appear the same size. When you put them in perspective view, you have an angular size change, which is why we have perspective view. Uh, Nathan, share my screen. The, the view itself of this picture is not in perspective. Right. This is what the real world looks like. This is what perspective does. All of the posts, unlike Ruhifs, which are represented as being the same size from the observer, which they are not, they all get smaller. That's what happens. That is the idea of having a perspective show. view. Ruhe, oh the only thing I can time. say, yeah. the only thing I want to add right now is that you've got three panelists telling you that it's not correct. You have three of them. It's not no, just got, Nathan. It's I've all got three. three panelists talking over me. Would That's you guys because... like to hear the answer? No, no, no before, because... Before you give your answer, Ruhe, look at my screen. This uh, is perspective view. What you were demonstrating was orthographic. Do you understand the difference between the two views? Yeah, of course yes, he does. Do. That's not what right. he's trying so to demonstrate. Why are you calling an orthographic view perspective? No, it, to demonstrate that's not how, what he... when you change from orthographic to a perspective view, why things look smaller. Yeah. Well, this he's is not what I'm showing. Who cares? That's a total straw man. You don't account for it in the curve maths. But that's correct. It does it's not about. and should not. It does not and needs to. Absolutely no, correct. It does, it does not, not and absolutely requires to because this, what we have on screen now, is what actually happens. Things don't remain the same like you showed from an orthographic point of view when everything's equidistant. Do you no. want an answer to this, Nathan? Yes or no? This is the. I'm this telling is... you, Ruhif. I'm not asking for an answer. Don't you understand the difference between me asserting stuff and me asking a question? I don't require an answer. I'm telling you. Yeah, I agree. If you don't accept that you're showing orthographic instead of perspective, it is orthographic. You're it of course it is. Then I think no, I'm not Anthony. Right. So because it's orthographic, and I'm telling you this, it does not represent the real world in terms of the angular size change. All of your posts look to be the same size, precisely as you calculate them in your fictitious ball fantasy Let maths. That one go. Can I please interrupt for a moment? Yes, I want to go. Yeah, okay, so what Ruf is showing in his model, which is not a perspective view, shows how, indeed, with the distance, objects look smaller. That's Thank what it demonstrates. Thank okay, you, Owen. So, But that does not detract from the concept that that is indeed required to actually calculate what you get to see on a globe. But because can I just can I just point we, out? Can, talking, can it please finish? Can it please finish? Sorry. Because at the same time, there is a bulge in between that also has a relative size that is going to obscure things. Correct. Just like a, a mountain <laughs> or a pole. So that is very relevant. So at the same time, this does indeed show how perspective works, but. Thank you. It is required. No, yes, I don't agree. It that does that's not required. show how perspective works. It shows a calculation, which is what they're doing. What it shows, specifically and explicitly, is orthographic view. It does yes. not He's show not that, a perspective of anything. This gives you zero Nathan, perspective. He's not denying that. Okay. Right. This is an orthographic view. Does not keep the objects at distance at the same size. That's orthographic. And he's and not right. denying yeah. that. Ruif is not denying that. Okay. But he's calling it perspective, and it's not perspective. No, right. he's not calling it perspective. Wow! Well, if you guys would shut the fuck up and just listen for a minute, view. you would understand this. He's. This is an orthographic view. Thank you, yeah. Owen. Do you want to keep talking? Yeah. Or? So he's corrected we all that, understand but it's then an orthographic at the same view. time, he assumes that it is not required to be calculated in his model to see what what should be seen and that is wrong so well let's get to that now so we do we all agree that this uh these lamp posts here are all the same size in this uh orthographic view but due to the angular size calculations they appear smaller as they get further away we, we are asserting yeah. this through if thank you for reiterating our assertion that you do not calculate for Debate 177, Nathan. It's uh, one minute, one hour, 30 and 20 to, 21 seconds is where I do a full presentation on this exact thing. Yeah, but you're a fucking retard, Ranty. 
no Thank need to no, uh, notice. My on, rule uh, for swearing is for triggered people exclusively. I swear when I'm triggered. Uh, actually Looks like Ruhif's pretty triggered too. I'm actually triggered about this, Ruhif. We'll say it again just Sorry? to trigger Ruhif a little bit more. So yes, we accept that there's an angular size change. You don't calculate for it though. This is the calculation. I know this is the calculation. It's a shame it doesn't appear in the Metabunk calculation. Does not and should not. Uh, sorry, so why the hell are you showing us? Let's swear at you. Why the fuck do you have this on screen, retard, if it's not even in your calculation? Answer my question. Why are you showing at us? Our assertion is this doesn't appear in your bullshit fantasy maths. So why are you showing at us? You're telling us how much it doesn't appear by highlighting it? Or is this a little ham-handed segue to demonstrate our point that these calculations, not the view on screen, does not appear in your curve maths. I, I have two more uh, slides to show. Would you like to get to them? Yeah. And and Nathan, he has basically said that it doesn't. So he has admitted that yeah, it, no, he just should not. it claims does that not it and should not, Arwin. He said does not and should not, doesn't need to, in other words. Yeah. He says right, he does need to. to. That's wrong. Yeah, so, exactly. Well, wrong. On, on does need screen, to, but doesn't appear. Does not need to. It does a, right. Things in the distance get smaller, Ruhif. That is our view, yes. the perspective view, the view you haven't got on screen but have got the calculations for and do not account for. Yeah, he's admitted that. So yeah, yeah but, but he but thinks, thinks that it's not necessary, shouldn't. even though things unequivocally do get smaller with distance. Their angular size does they change, have... and they do not account yes. for that. What does it say on my screen, you fuckface? Number Come one, on. 22 degrees. No Come on. I'm drunk. Sorry, Owen. I am drunk. Yeah, but there's no excuse. Just don't. Well, Nathan can stop being a cunt and I'll stop being a cunt. Uh, what? Enough. Pointing out that you don't account for the very real phenomena of things getting smaller with distance gets me called a cockface. It just shows how <laughs> unbelievably irritating it is for someone like me to point out to someone like Ruhif how wrong his world really is. All right. Question. Or a, a demonstration, at least. Do, have I changed the size of these lamp posts in this image? No. No, thank you, Owen. But yes, number one it appears twenty-two point. Uh, who the hell cares? We're in orthographic view. How many times do I have to say this to the retard known as Ruhif? It doesn't matter whether they change size in orthographic view. That's not how we view the world. This shows you how big they appear in perspective. Uh, appear with perspective. You unbelievable retard. No, it does not. This is an orthographic view. Clearly, you're too drunk or too stupid to understand that this does not show that, you retard. Come on. You can't call it perspective if it's orthographic. And Correct. That's what you're, doing. No, you're getting it, Rue, Tiff. Come on. You're getting it, Rue, moron. Up. You're making a mess right. of things. Yeah, yeah. Of I'll, I'll calm down if you guys calm down. I'm calm, Rue, Hiff. You're just a retard. <laughs> He's not claiming you never a calm, view. he's just claiming demonstrating calm. how Perspective things look track. smaller over distance. Correct. How that right, let's just nice and calmly put me on camera and point out that Ruhif doesn't understand that when he shows an orthographic view, it does not show perspective. This simple fact is either eluding him through stupidity or he's just too drunk, like a typical drunk Aussie. <laughs> I think they call them rednecks. <laughs> yeah, redneck, redneck bargain, retards. Bargain. That's what they call them, don't they, Ruhif? Redneck you. retards and their stupidity. Say again <laughs> that this shows perspective, so I can berate no, you doesn't. again, drunkard. No, he, Thank you, Owen. Name it does. Yeah, but you do Tell me again, Ruhif. Say, say again that it shows perspective. No, Tell me how it no, shows it. The calculations on the top left to show you how big they oh, are. Oh, the calculations show it. So what's with the picture, idiot? Say again? What's with the picture then? It shows you what the actual... Uh, no, the picture doesn't show us that, you complete drunk retard. The picture shows us an orthographic view with everything looking relatively the same. It seems you are retarded or too drunk to get it. I have to say, this is the most yeah, fun I've had on this show ever. Good, because we're ripping you a new asshole. You and your globe religion.
Uh, Laugh it up, drunkard. Watch it back when you're sober and realise what an unbelievable idiot you are coming across as you repeatedly assert that an orthographic view shows us what perspective does. Tell us again, retard. Yep. It's, it seems three. to me that Arwen... It seems to me that Arwen is making a connection. Yeah. And I think that uh, maybe I... he should be the one to say it instead of Ruhiv. So Ruhiv, don't yeah. talk. Arwen, Sorry. you no, tell us what I, you I hear Ruhiv saying. Uh, okay, well, Ruf is not showing you a perspective view, yeah, but, he keeps but, calling it that. but he is Nothing. basically showing how the angular size changes, so he's demonstrating a perspective effect. No, he isn't. Aaron, you're so wrong, it is untrue. untrue. He's not showing anything to do with perspective. He has a few numbers on screen that relate to perspective if we had a perspective view, which we do not, and it is not applied to curve maths. Correct. Yeah, but that's that's not what this particular image is about. Uh, yeah, is that's my point, Arwin. That's not what this image is about, even though he keeps asserting it over and over again because he's drunk and stupid. This is, this image on screen has nothing to do with perspective. Yeah. Yes, it does. The no, angular it does. No. Of <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> drunkard. Let's just tell the retard again that this is an orthographic view and in no way shows perspective. Your pathetic numbers and calculations at the top may have something to do with it. We haven't double-checked them. That's for later examination. However, this does not show anything to do with perspective that is the very point we are making the view you use and the numbers that are associated with this view don't include the numbers at the top of the page the view does not include an angular size adjustment because it's an orthographic calculation like the correct. picture on screen correct may i speak you can slur something out in some idiotic way if you, you want to, Ruhith. Move Hiff. on to the next slide. Well, I, I want people to understand that these lampposts in the orthographic view have not changed size. Well, that's interesting. Shame we don't view the world from an orthographic view, you complete retard. Can you please move on to uh, the How next many photographs slide? can you show me that we have presented that were from an orthographic view? It's an impossibility, right. you nutcase idiot. Nothing can be presented from an orthographic view. We only see things in perspective view. Right, we're going to slide number right, two. Right, is to acknowledge what I've said, dickhead. No, because you're a fucking retard. Yeah, because you, you're going to laugh it off because you're a retard. Yeah, I don't care how many times you assert that a side-on view that you will never achieve ever because it's a impossibility it has anything to do with how we view the world. You're just a retard. Can we please move on to the next yeah. slide? Right. I'd two. like to see how oh, you no, no, demonstrate that it's not required. That's yeah, what I, I want to know. Well, that it's not required. I've it's just, not required the... in the curve calculations because it is. This demonstrates how required. perspective no, you changes the angular it. size in the view. But yeah, yeah that doesn't actually explain I have not, why it should I have not, not be adjusted. required in the curve calculations because it I have should. not adjusted the size of the lamp post yeah we get it we get it yeah can we okay, move so on the angular can size. we move on please but you're not getting the point yeah we are uh, sorry i'll just point out that ruhif thinks that is his point he actually thinks by saying we don't account for it that's actually got a point attached that's how drunk he is yeah, but it, this does not even relate to that Okay, this is just the, the first step. We get it. We get how away. perspective changes the angular size. Can we move yeah, without, on now in your demonstration as to why it's angle. not required in the curvature calculations? Please. Because I haven't changed the height of these lampposts. That, yeah, that's because you're in orthographic view, you unbelievable muppet. Oh my god. This is so painful. I hope you watch this back sober, you idiot. <laughs> Actually, I agree with Nathan. Yeah. You're completely yeah. wrong. No, you guys are retards. This is the best we've got. A drunk idiot. <laughs> well, I did this when I was This is the best challenge, you Globers. You Thank should you, be ashamed. Globers watching this, this is a real low point for you. Yeah. I was embarrassed today, Nathan, for humanity. You should be. 
You should be ashamed of your religion. You should be ashamed that you have no proof of the R value. And you should be ashamed that you're presenting an orthographic view over and over again and telling me it's how perspective works. All right, yeah, let's go next one. Guys, can I just... just... Uh, so, what? Here we go. We're on to slide two, and it's yet another orthographic view. <laughs> oh, my God. What is your problem, man? What is your malfunction? Did you do this when you were drunk too? Did you put this together when you were no. drunk? Nathan. No, no, no. I it's drew them when flat. I was sober. Okay, look. It's, it's flat. flat. Yeah, it we're, we're going to presuppose. We're going to beg the question and, and beg the question that we've got a flat that, earth. That's that not okay? going to work. Oh, for this time. No, we're not begging the question. You do the same calculation when you beg the question and insert an R value. So we're not begging any question. You insert a presupposition to the exact same mathematics the only point that we beg the question is when we insert a value of r that we have no proof of other than that there's no difference to what we measure when we're measuring distances between things when we're measuring height above uh, the observation point all of those things you can actually measure with a tape measure the only thing that is actually a presupposition is going to be the R value that you insert when you curve the ground beneath the feet of these mountains. We are not begging any question when we say it's flat. It's obviously and observably flat, something that is accepted on both sides. To the observer, oh, the Earth it's is flat, obviously and observably flat, Ruhif. There is no presupposition obviously. in what is on screen. The only presupposition will be the R <laughs> value you insert from here. So you require this flat plane measurement without presupposition when you insert the presuppositional R value. You are the only one with a presupposition. You are the only one without scientific proof of that R value. Don't accuse me of your digressions, you drunk moron. All right. So the Earth is flat, observably and uh, scientifically. Yeah, thanks. That's about the most intelligent thing you've said all day. Where's perspective right. in your drawing? Oh. It's not in it. It's not in yeah, it. Yeah, again, we're well, an orthographic view yet again, retard. Second slide, second fail. Calculations. I'd, like to, know, I'd like to actually get an answer and move on from yes. just cursing. Okay. 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 So, why <laughs> is it not required? Nathan, just share my screen for a sec and I'll show him what weird. perspective view is. Hang we're on, I'm not going to read the answer. Points. Here we go. I don't mind ranty at all. Yeah, absolutely. Let's stick ranty's picture of the real world. Every picture ever taken ever will be with perspective. I absolutely 100% guarantee it. You are incapable of taking a side view of something you are looking down the x-axis of. You can't take a picture of something on the y-axis because it becomes the x-axis every time you point a camera at it or look at anything. Everything in the world includes perspective. That's why is demonstrating a model. I'd like to actually move on and uh, because i'm really curious as to why according to ruhif perspective does not need to be taken into account for I the agree. curve calculations this, i want to know image, this so this image on screen has nothing to do with perspective we're talking uh what a retard what a complete retard objects get smaller and converge at the horizon in every picture ever taken ever because that is the world we live in your world has co-opted that fact and called it curvature, and then ignores the very fact of reality that we deal with perspective. To tell me, to assert like a drunk wanker, that this picture on screen has nothing to do with perspective is not only preposterous, it is outrageous. Please All right, who wants get to hear it? a Alan little bit more it. constructive here. Come on. Okay, Owen wants to hear it. So yeah. this image has nothing to do with perspective. This is yeah. simply talking. Every image ever taken, ever, has perspective in it. You cannot avoid it. Come on, Ruby. This image on this image on screen has nothing to do with perspective. Every image, every single image will have oh. perspective. Why Even you if you those? take a picture of a two D piece of paper, at some level it has three dimensionality, and you are taking to a minute, minuscule level, you are taking into account perspective. In every single picture, you have perspective. It is a way of life, my friend. Would I would like to hear the answer? Yeah. I would like Excellent. to hear the answer as well, please. Hey, Nami. Yeah. Nami. Excellent. Two people that I think are genuinely interested in knowing the shape of the Earth. Right. So this on the left is uh, wherever that are guy took you. Are you going to provide us with that? Can please just let him talk for a moment, okay? He's already drunk. Right, it's hard you? enough. So just okay. let him do his thing. Uh, this was, what do you call it? La Grignetta, I think it was. So this is the guy at the top of the mountain 
taking the photo of Grand Tournaline and Mount Blank. You're not showing so, anything. Yeah. No, I'm not showing. He is. He is. Is I'm he? Not yeah. Okay. All right. I can't see it. So he he was at a height. Yeah. He clicked my button. <laughs> hey, Rumpus. Yeah. So um, is this to scale? <laughs> Yeah, I don't see. No, it, this so. is not the scale. The, the yeah, then it's completely the... useless. It is completely useless. It's not the scale. Then it's completely Listen, useless. Listen, yes. The yes. The image, the image is not to scale. The calculations are accurate. If okay. the horizontal distance and the vertical distance are not in relation, in to scale, then it's completely useless. Let's just go through it and see how you feel at the end. All right, so this is the guy at La Grignetta at 7,142 feet. This is Grand Tournaline at 11,086 feet. And this is Mont Blanc at 15,777 feet. Now, because the Earth is observably and obviously flat or whatever, <laughs> sorry, you guys have seen all my Skype messages. Um, all right, so we're going to draw this red line across at exactly horizontal and then subtract that 7,142 feet from each of the, the mountains. Is everyone okay with that? Yeah. Can Nami? Nami and Owen. Okay. All right. So the leftover, the extra height of uh, Grand Tournaline is 3,944 feet and the extra height above the observer for Mount Blanc is 8,635 feet. Right, so we can calculate an angle, a viewing angle, like on a diopter measurement, uh, to that single point at the top of those mountains. And I really hope you guys are capable of doing some really simple trigonometry. All right, so the angle to Grand Tournaline, uh, it's 3,944 feet above our viewer height. Uh, and it's yeah, that many, 432,000 feet away. So if you were to take a diopter of Grand Tournaline, it would be 0 0.52 degrees. Does everyone, is everyone capable of doing simple trigonometry? Yes? Can you get to the point, please? Yep. All right. Same sort of maths with Mount Blanc. It's uh, 8,600 above the viewer, 644,000 feet away. So the angle to Mount Blanc on a diopter is 0.77. Everyone realize that Mount Blank should appear higher than Grand Tournaline. Does everyone agree with that? No. Or less than a quarter degree. Absolutely not. Not, not at no, all. Don't agree. Absolutely not. Why are you why are you not reducing the size of the mountain subject to the rules of perspective and right. then making Sorry, claim Anthony, that you, it should appear can taller? Can you see what's on my yeah, screen? This is the exact point in, in contention here, we have. Did we lose him? Dropped. Yeah. But seriously, that demonstration was completely useless. Totally useless. So what we have in front of us the is Ranty's demonstration. Was not to scale. So, sorry, Arwen, I just want to... It's very misrepresentative. Can you hear so, me? It seems like these people are just missing the point over and over again. Yeah. Are you I guess another moron that can't get the point. You're an idiot. Welcome, Rumpus. Are you saying unbelievable. You don't understand Rumpus? basic trigonometry. It's just incredible. It's not trigonometry. It's perspective we're talking this about. This is not perspective. This is a diagram of right. what it's, it's like. Not perspective. It's a model. We're asking it's why model. it's not perspective. It's be because you believe that everything works in pictures. This is not a picture through your eye. This is yeah, a model. That's because you're doing orth orthographic. This and we're not, asking why it's perspective is, not being done. Anthony, you don't know what orthographic is. That's a particular sort of 3D projection. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a particular type of 3D projection which is not representative of the world that we see because the world we see works in perspective view. It doesn't matter what you do. Every time you put it into an orthographic view, you are giving us a third position which gives you an equidistant view of both the observer position and the target items keeping them at their same size if you were right on top of them in other words it does not change the relative size and we do have a perspective view of everything through a camera through a telescope with your own eye everything is always with perspective applied you well, just you don't apply it, it because you've hijacked it you've hijacked no. hijacked the fact that things get smaller with distance and basically said we'll call that curvature no 
You got it completely wrong as you... I haven't got it wrong. I'll say it again. You have hijacked the fact that objects in the distance get smaller and you have rearranged the labels on the mathematical formulas to call it curvature. There is nothing at play more than perspective here. You don't include Nathan, it understand. because you've hijacked okay, then, Nathan, it. Nathan, if you understand yeah, Nathan, Nathan, if you understand perspective, tell me the formula for yeah, it. Yeah, we can hear you, Adam. Can I... Tell me the formula for perspective. All these experts in perspective, please tell me the formula for perspective. Can Nathan, I just interject a second and maybe... <clears throat> there's... No, you're stopping all these wonderful, intelligent people telling me what Not the formula... Not knowing the formula doesn't change the fact that we understand implicitly that objects in the distance get smaller their angular size reduces, and this is a fact of life. I don't know to need to know the mathematical formula to understand implicitly that objects in the distance get smaller. Their angular size reduces. That is a fact of life. That fact of life is not accounted for, and the way you get around it is you show the world in orthographic view. You're an idiot. No, I'll say it again. You are the idiot. Or you're just a shill wanker who has come to obfuscate the true fact of life that we have to deal with perspective. Perspective is a fact of life. You just don't account for it. And the reason you don't account for it is because you have hijacked it. You have taken the fact that angular size reduces with distance and you have decided to relabel that as curvature. That is where the deception lies. We're at the heart of the deception on the curve when maths you and you just want to call me an idiot. Use perspective. And talk uh, constantly. Those, those, those telegraph poles of Narantes, oh. Rohif and I could tell you how big those poles will appear in the image on his photograph. Rohif and I could do that calculation. Good for you. None of you. Good for you, Rampus. None of you can do that operation. It doesn't prove anything. Oh, wait, hold on, you can speak in a second. None of you could do that operation I've just described. As wow, we. Coming out with the... Wow, we. Hold you on. changed the Let oil in your on. car. Wow, we. Let so me what? Finish. Let me finish. Ruhif and I could tell yeah, you... From in from the hold did. on, whoever's speaking. Oh, Ruhif and I... Hang on, wait a minute. I, Ruhif and I... No. Ruhif and I could tell you how big those telegraph yeah. poles are in... Yeah, we don't care. Oh, Right. Rohif and I could do the operation. We don't care, and... Rumpus. Arwen. That's Arwen. perspective. Arwen, are you there? We can do it. Yeah, you can't. Arwen. Arwen, are you there? We can yeah. do that. Arwen, good. Right. So doesn't it worry Arwen. you? Does... Well, I think the problem doesn't is... it worry you that Rohif and I can do that operation? Hey, okay, Rumpus, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kick you. You fuck off, Arwen. You're away. Oh, dear. Um, uh, Rohif and I can do operation. You can't. That's you. Oh. But we know what's going on, and you don't. Can I do it, Rumpus? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Because he's yeah. out. So, let's get... Okay. What were you so going to I think, I think the problem you've got there really is, is I understand what they're trying to do. Uh, because you can convert it for calculation purpose into the orthographic perspective. But into doing so, when you do translate it into the orthographic perspective, that's when you have to apply for the calculation purpose. Before you put the calculation in, the angle of perspective change because you are trying to represent that orthographic view of a, a perspective thing. So to do so, what you have to first do is put the perspective factor into your orthographic view. So your orthographic view for your calculation purposes represents the perspective. I know that was probably too much for Rumpus, which is why he's had to go, but that's kind of what needs doing in, in the most of the show. In right. Yeah, you can calculate for it, but it doesn't represent the real world because we have to deal with perspective. Yeah, so they have to have put that perspective into the calculation, and that's what they're not doing for the orthographic. The funny thing, the though, really. after that, but you've got to put the perspective angular size reduction into the orthographic view to do the calculations that they're wanting to do. What they're right. trying to do is ignore it, which is the whole point of Taboo Conspiracy's video, how they try to ignore that factor and only apply the reduction once. But they have to apply it twice. But there's one little funny detail, though, and that is that on the flat earth, you actually wouldn't need to. No. But on a globe with bulges getting in the way, you would absolutely have to, because there, the actual Earth distance is going to be an obstruction. So then perspective becomes very relevant. So it's funny that, the, yeah, 
all these models that they've demonstrated to us are all using a flat plane and then it works then then you then you can actually just show it like that in a model so what soon, we've got on screen sorry to interrupt you Owen, is glow, we've got an, then sorry Owen, just one second i've been trying to get this in relevant. so we've got a perspective view this is what you see when you look down the line of these wind turbines now they're in no way spaced far enough to actually represent any curvature in terms of their physical structure on the earth they're too close together but what we get is a perspective view they reduce in angular size as they get closer to the horizon it's as simple as that everything in the world has perspective applied however if i can spin it back without screwing this up which will probably be difficult here we go let it play from there so this is ranty taking a line of these wind turbines side on to show that in orthographic view which is what we keep getting presented with again and again and again all of these wind turbines remain exactly the same size they're all the same right no because if you look at the ones in the background they've reduced in size they're not as big as the ones in the foreground and that is because they have perspective applied and when we go to the actual front on view of the wind turbines we see exactly the effects of an angular size change with distance the exact thing they are ignoring and not putting into the calculation and why because that's what it is they're just co-opting this effect the reason we see turbines going into the curvature as they call it is because this is the simple effect of perspective that's what things do they get smaller they've stolen it they've hijacked it and this is how they con you this is how they've conned the world into believing you're on a sphere using a presuppositional value of r and perspective it's just as simple as that now you know how the magic trick works hopefully for all the globers out there who are devout globalists they'll realize that the magic trick isn't as clever as you thought they've just stolen perspective correct nathan would it be possible i could screen share please yeah go ahead right so am i on you are yeah uh dr zach's watching shout out to dr zach i referenced this video before um and i'm going to reference he sent me this in uh, skype um through third party and basically what what ruhif and uh, rumpus would argue is that they can calculate anything but they always do it on a straight line. Now, this is where Arwin's... What do you call it, Arwin? Is it a slant? What do you call it? Yeah, slant. Uh, yeah. Optical this, slant. With an optical slant. induced optical slant. What, but this is how it should be calculated. It should be calculated on an upward slant because that is perspective. Everything goes up to the horizon or down to the horizon. And what he's showing in this illustration is that the lights in the, um, in the corridor, as they go further away changes the angle obviously as it gets further away the angle gets smaller and smaller and smaller and so right down at the very very end you end up with it's almost flat like it's almost horizontal but if you guys were to do the calculation on paper this is how you would do it you would show the floor being level which is what you'd always do you show all the stars or in the lights or whatever and you can calculate anything with pixels and all this fine but what this is the way it should be done it should be done with a slant the way that arwin says and this is perspective and it isn't done this way. There is no calculations for perspective, and it needs to be there because, as Dr. Zach showed in his video that I cited from before, if you don't allow for perspective, everything goes to it goes to cock, and that's what's happened. And that, and that's the reason why this is um, the curve calculator is making it look like it's a sphere, but really Nathan's right. They've concocted it based on perspective and called it curve. That's all they've done. Yeah. So, this is I'm this done. is peeking behind the curtain. This is seeing how the magic trick's done. Yeah. Still yeah, too bad that they never really actually dare to go into the actual explanation as to why it's not required. They never actually went from demonstrating the perspective angular size change to actually showing that on a globe model when it becomes relevant. When oh, we'll do that. Start to see oh, we'll difference. do that, Arwin. They never oh, went don't to you that. worry about that, Arwin. We'll do that. We'll show people precisely what happens when we go through some of the old arguments like the Isle of Man and the Lighthouse, and we'll apply an angular size change to this uh, nonsense model of a sphere. 
and say, no, we absolutely do see things getting smaller, so we absolutely must. No one will ever argue that point. Initially, they have to concede. When they first come in, oh, yeah, of course we accept things get smaller. Orthographic view after orthographic view after orthographic view later, they tell you that it doesn't need to apply. So, we're going to apply it. So don't worry about that. Yeah, we haven't got them to do it because they don't want to concede. As Ruhif did, his explanation, his justification, was to say that it wasn't there. Like somehow he justified it. Outrageous. Mm -hmm. well, he said it was basically not necessary. Yeah, so that's not a justification. The, the conclusion point is, um, Sean Hufford's hangout last night with GeoStreamer did the exact same thing that Ruhif's just done and the exact same thing that um, uh, the Rumpus is trying to defend. At the end of the day, gentlemen, if we're going to be calculating for the curvature, the apparent curvature of the Earth, you must reduce the size of the target because of perspective. We don't see an orthographic view. We see it in perspective view. And with that, I'm going to say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the debating panel for making this debate possible. And also a massive thank you to all the live audience for tuning in. If you hated the show, I'm sure you already know what to do. But if you liked it, maybe consider sharing it and subscribing if you've not done so already. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!